What's up guys, Grim here. If you left a comment in the comment section of the last weekend video that we did, then you are entered into a giveaway of a Primalist Wilds package, which is like the $100 package that is listed on the Rift store. So you get the Primalist and plus a lot of other things. So if you entered into this, this is a big giveaway. And the winner is, boom, right there. Congratulations, we'll be sending your code to you on YouTube, so make sure to check your inbox. This week, since we're doing a Primalist build, we're gonna go ahead and give away another Wilds package. Yes, another one of the $100 Wilds packages. All you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below this video with your character name and server, and also make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and hit that like button. The winner will be announced in the next weekend video. Good luck, everyone. What's up guys today we're going to go over a Vulcanist Primalist build and this is extreme burst now if you have not gotten to play the Vulcanist yet you are missing out on some insane damage because it pretty much has the hardest hitting ability in the game with the ethereal beam that is a beam that is channeled and it actually goes through all of the resistances and everything and applies ethereal damage i've actually had some of the best geared players in the world standing in front of me and i would hit them with ethereal beam and it would almost kill them it's just insane so let's go ahead and go right into the build and all the macros and stuff that i've been running and hopefully you guys will enjoy it all right so let's go ahead and pull up the build here now if you'd like to see this build on a separate web page without having to pause the video or squint at your screen i will have a link to it in the description below this video so that you can just look on a separate web page and you know take your time with it so as you can see we went 31 points into volcanist this is basically going to give us our really hard hitting ability which is ethereal being and then we went four into dervish which gives us the might of the earth which is of course the increases attack power and weapon damage by 15 percent that is big damage boost right there all right so we went four points into typhoon which was storm strength and it increases attack power and weapon damage by 16 percent as well so we're basically going into lots and lots of damage there is a variation to this if you'd like, and it is by switching out Typhoon and instead going with uh, the Titan Soul. That way you can pick up the extra armor or hit points, I think it was. But either way, it's just a little bit more extra tankiness if that would be something that you would like in your build rather than Typhoon, which is going to add more damage. All right, so the masteries that we went into is the level 61, we went into Exhilaration. Level 62 is Teutonic Power, 63 is Earth Sign Tenacity, 64 Primal Rage, and 65 I went with Ancestral Force because I like having a big heal in PvP. The Vulcanist doesn't have too much for healing or utility, so you pretty much need to have something to help you out on that front. If you go with uh, the spiritualism, which is basically like power manipulation and all that that adds to your damage, you will do more damage. Your ethereal beam will hit even harder and stuff like that. But are you going to be able to survive once somebody gets on you? Because trust me, once somebody gets on a Vulcanist, they are probably going to kill you if you don't have any kind of heal because all you have as a Vulcanist is a interrupt and a root. And that's all you have. So with all of this damage that you're going to be doing, the big downside is no utility, no heals outside of your level 65 mastery. So I highly recommend you go with the heal. All right, so let's go into the buffs here, which is infusion and font of wit. And you can, of course, go with any of the guild or planar buffs that you would like. All right, so let's go into the macros now. If you'd like to see all the macros where you can copy and paste them, I will have them in the description below this video, so check down there. And also, I'll update any macros down there that I end up having a better version of it because a lot of times whenever I post these videos, you guys go, hey, this is a little bit better way of making that macro, and I go, why didn't I think of that? So make sure to check out down there, and I will have the most up-to-date macros that I've been using. All right, so the spam macro is basically going to be 
Vorpal Salvo, Rage Spike, and then Stroke of Brilliance. I used to have Skill Shot in here because while you're moving, Skill Shot would fire off once you got to full fury, which was great. Skill Shot is a very hard hitting ability and it went great in this macro. The problem is, is that there are so many roots going on right now and if you have skill shot in this macro and somebody roots you and you accidentally hit it it will go into a six second cast and pretty much you can't get out of it uh at the time of this recording and this may get updated soon enough if you use your primal warp which is what i would do on about anything else if i actually was playing pyromancer or something and i went into my cinder burst uh accidentally hard casting it I, and somebody rooted me I would just warp out of it, you know, just get out of the whole cast, get out of the CC, everything. Well, right now, Primal Warp is not acting that way, and if they update it, I will put an annotation in this video saying that they have, but right now, you can't get out of it. So, do not put Skill Shot in this macro as long as you can't get out of it. It, it would be terrible, and I've done it several times to where I'm casting Skill Shot for six seconds. And I'm sitting there watching somebody kill me while I'm rooted because I can't do anything. And that's the worst feeling ever. Alright, so that's our spam macro. Our burst macro is this one. Now this kind of runs into the same situation, but you're not going to get caught as often using skill shot in this macro because you're only going to burst here and there. Whereas your spam macro, you're most likely going to be hitting it a lot and it would be bad to be using it all the time and get caught by a root but your burst should be fine all right so and then our last macro is our heal which makes it to where our ancestral force will cast on us so what i have on my bar down here is the spam macro we have molten wave on another button we have our burst macro ethereal beam our healing macro precision bolt conflagrate uh, summon Beacon of the Drake, Primal Warp, and then break free on a separate button. Do not put it in your macros, guys, or else you'll really cripple your ability to PvP. Uh, Lava Lance, which is going to be our Interrupt, and then our Root, which is Grasping Earth, and then I have Skill Shot. How this build plays is much like every other range class for the most part in that you have a setup ability or two and then you go into a normal rotation or a burst. In this particular build it is going to be precision bolt which is our setup ability because it's going to cast a bolt spell at our target, it's going to damage them, but most importantly it's going to put a 10% damage increasing boost onto us and that lasts for 15 seconds. Now you need to keep in mind that Precision Bolt is a cast time ability. It takes one second to cast and then you have the global cooldown after that. So that makes it to where it's not always ideal to cast that during PvP. There are not always going to be occasions where you can just stand still and cast at people like that. So if you don't have your damage increase up from Precision Bolt, don't worry too much. But we would like to have it as much as possible. Our second ability that we would like to have up whenever we're doing our rotations or burst is Conflagrate because this is going to be our damage over time. It is uh, instant cast so you don't have to wait on a cast time. So it makes it really nice to go ahead and cast our Precision Bolt, go into Conflagrate, then go ahead and go into our normal rotation or burst. Now I'm going to show you guys the actual rotation in action, but keep in mind that while I'm explaining things, my damage buff and all that will probably fall off. That's just the way it goes whenever I do spec videos. So we're going to set up with our precision bolt, go into conflagrate, and then we hit our spam macro in order to build up fury. Once we hit 100% fury, we're going to hit our skill shot, and that'll make it to where it casts instantly without having to do the cast time. Alright, so once we get 100% Fury again, we're going to go ahead and go into a bit of a burst rotation that is not the normal burst. So let's go ahead and refresh our Precision Bolt and Conflagrate. Alright, so we got 100% Fury. We're going to hit Molten Wave now. Once Molten Wave gets done casting, we hit our Spam Backer once and then hit Molten Wave again. That will basically stack the damage buff that molten wave gives as well so that you'll be able to cast two molten waves basically back to back 
So you cast your Molten Wave, hit your spam macro once, and then Molten Wave again, and you'll get all of that Molten Wave bonus damage on top of it. That was our normal rotation. Now we're gonna go into the burst rotation, which is gonna be flatlining almost any player that you meet, as long as you have a little bit of gear, should I say. So what we're gonna be mainly focused on is Ethereal Beam. This is going to do Ethereal damage, which is gonna eat past player's resistances, basically. So it's gonna be flat damage that's gonna kill most players especially if you have gear it's just unbelievable the amount of bursts that you're going to be doing so what we're wanting to do with the burst rotation is do as much damage in a short period of time so if you do not have your precision bolt damage buff up you're going to be missing out on a lot of damage that 10 percent adds up to a lot trust me all right so what we're going to do is set up with precision bolt I like to have conflagrate up just for the fact that I might get them really low but not kill them and then the dot might finish them off. So then we're going to go into our burst macro which will cast our skill shot and then we'll do a ethereal beam right afterwards. Now like I said the buffs and stuff are going to be falling off while I'm explaining all this. But basically this is going to cast your primal avatar which is going to put you at 100% fury and then it will enable your skill shot to be instant cast instead of the six second cast timer and that will cast your skill shot which is going to hit for a lot especially with your primal avatar triggered at that time because that will add more damage on top of it and then you will go into your ethereal beam and that ethereal beam is just going to eat people up trust me this kills people like crazy and if you have gear on your vulcanus man wait till you see the ethereal beam damage and i've had the best geared players in the game standing in front of me in war fronts and i would cast that ethereal beam uh specifically my burst macro and man they are running for their lives if it doesn't kill them they are running away and i don't have very good gear on my primalist just yet so you can imagine what it's going to be once i do gear him out and this damage is pretty much the best burst in the game right now you think of night blades and all that they're not doing this much damage in that short a period of time it just is not happening vulcanus is the most bursty class in the game right now all right so you know the normal rotation you know the burst rotation basically normal rotation is just spam button and then go into your molten wave be sure to have your dot up and as well as your precision bolt that way that you will have your damage increase so the other things that you need to have on your bar and making sure that you're using that is things like beacon of the drake beacon of the drake is such a good ability it's basically a ground target and you can make a macro that's a gtae macro if you want that way that you can cast it and it'll put it right in the middle of some players and it will damage all of the players that's around that area and people are using it a lot because it is a very good ability and trust me it will kill people as well then we have primal warp here which is our teleport forward 15 meters and then it will remove all crowd control effects it is much like the pyromancer teleport forward and yeah it's really good make sure that you're putting it to good use all right so also make sure that you have your break free ready to go don't put in your macros because if you're actually using this whenever somebody casts you know something small that you don't really need to break free out of you're going to waste it and then all of a sudden you get stunned or something right whenever you need to have uh, the ability to cast your spells and stuff and you're really going to cripple yourself if you don't have your break free ready to go when you need it all right then we have lava lance which is going to be our interrupt we make sure that we're interrupting people as much as possible uh, a lot of people will put stuff like this in their macros as well. I don't recommend it. I like to pick and choose whenever I interrupt somebody, so it's up to you. All right, then we have Grasping Earth, which is our root. This is going to uh, be very useful whenever melee gets on you because if you don't have a way to get them off of you, you're going to die. You're going to die very fast as a, as a Vulcanist because you don't have much other utility. You don't have debilitates. You don't have uh, stuns or anything like that. All you have is that root 
and an interrupt so make sure to put it to good use all right then we also have our heel here make sure that you are putting this heel to good use if if somebody gets on you and they're about to kill you as a Vulcanist, try to line of sight them in some way. As in, if somebody is casting at you from afar, get to where you can walk behind something, uh, something in order to stop them from casting on you. And then you can use this heal and they can't interrupt it while you are out of their line of sight. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this build video. And if you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. As usual, guys, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.